Now let's talk about SmackDown from April 29th, 1999, the very first ever episode of SmackDown, or at least that's what they wanted you to think it was. No, this is, <laughs> this is, no, this is WWE's return to network television. That's what the show was called, because yeah. they said that a it million was, times. This was on UPN. It was. And based on the crowd reaction for the later half of the show, I have a feeling this was taped right after Raw, because <laughs> everyone's dead <laughs> by yeah. the end of the show. <laughs> the, the red ropes and the Raw setup and everything <laughs> gives it away as well. Yeah, I think they just probably pitched, this was oh, like what yeah, they yeah. used to pitch to UPN, I'm sure, and UPN was like, yeah, go ahead. I think so that. too. <laughs> yeah, I was all, <laughs> and somehow this got picked up. <laughs> I can't believe it. Wow. Weird. <laughs> I can't believe that UPN had to be shown this, like, we've never seen that other show you do, why don't you show us another yeah. show? Okay, well, here's it's the only, same fucking show we do every week. It's only April of 99, which is probably when they're at their hottest. <laughs> like, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you being had to do convinced. some convincing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that that 9.0 rating you're pulling just isn't enough. We're going to be so yeah, I, like, I, I like 9.0, but can you show us 9.0? Please yeah, do that. Listen, we need 10. <laughs> Now, if you need us to put win Ben Stein's money before you to lead in, that's <laughs> <laughs> we got your Ben Stein, here, baby. <laughs> and you can win my money. I'll put Martin on there as well. Uh, just let me know what you need. Oh, now we're getting Martin. real fucking cooking with oil Martin. now. Hell yeah, Gina! <laughs> that's my guy. Uh, so it starts off with a cold open showing the corporation and the ministry feud, which of course leads later on in the evening here to the corporate ministry. <gasps> Son of a bitch. It shows Undertaker kidnapping Stephanie in the limo. Where to, to Stephanie? Stephanie. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it also shows uh, Undertaker this... putting Stephanie on the symbol. Yes, the symbol. the symbol. The black wedding. There's also a phone call between Undertaker and uh, Vince. And Vince says, how Stephanie? And Undertaker says, She's real fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Stephanie was making some wild accusations going into this promo. A little Holy bit too, God. Yeah. <laughs> they went oh, deep here fuck. in a second. So anyways, this is the first time we ever see the everybody on the ground gimmick, I think, for the intro. Yes. That which is, is pretty cool. The oh, intro's yeah, also, a little uh, different. Oh, I was yeah. going to mention, no, before you get to the intro, they this is when Stone Cold saved Stephanie on the symbol. Yes. And uh, this line, for some reason, was ingrained in my mind when he said, he didn't do it because it was the, he didn't do it because he wanted to, he did it because it was the right thing. Yeah. And I always remember that line. What a great a angle, line. though. Yeah, I mean, of all, like, that very, uh, I mean, it's hard to compare that to something nowadays, but the most recent thing is, like, Kingston saving Moxley. It's like... Ah, these two fucking hate each other, and they they want each other to die. But damn it, you gotta do the right thing. Yeah, you know, or that one time Roman Reigns said, "Shuffer and shuck attach." <laughs> <Son. laughs> that sticks in my head too. Yeah, that really. Yeah, it Stuck wasn't the right around. thing. <laughs> <laughs> but whenever I see these opens with the crowd and the signs and the music Dude, and stuff, so many signs. It just takes me that it just takes me back to like very specific times in my childhood. Like I don't know, yeah. like I, it's like I can remember exact scenes, like being there. Watching yes. it with my dad and his friend or whatever, you know, it's just yeah. like yeah. crazy how that works. How does anyone see with these signs? There's legit every. Two I remember feet, I went a to a SmackDown at like in like 2000 and like mm -hmm. you, <laughs> I was I was super young, super yeah. short, can't see anything. Dudes are holding signs <laughs> the entire time. I'm just like whatever. I just sat down. It's all right. Yeah. Like, I'll please somebody get to the fucking match, please. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the only time that they didn't hold the signs up was during the matches. During yeah. the promos, yeah. they were always up. This is uh, also Michael Cole and Jim Cornette on commentary for this to, uh, to for the pilot. How weird is that? Yeah, it, it, it's weird. weird to see Jim Cornette on anything and like yeah. around this era, but it is what it is, I guess. As Tony said, raw stage, ropes, everything is just raw. I'm pretty sure this is taped after raw. So. Oh, it has they to be, do right? some they do some blue lighting, I think, at one point to the trusses, but other than that, it's try, all red. Try something. There was some it's guy like, standing up at the top of one of the trusses, too. I got no clue what he was doing up there. It panned over to him one time. <laughs> yeah, what's the guy doing over here? Is that the camera um, guy that's just chilling up there? I guess. The they never used him. I don't they never think used they that shot. Got, yeah. Yeah, they uh, maybe they use him to get crowd shots, you know? They might have him for crowd oh, shots. Oh, maybe. Right? Yeah, yeah. They zoom it's like in reaction on shots. Yeah. So we kick it off. We have a McMahon's promo. I feel like most of the Attitude Era episodes... Started yes. with the McMahon's promo. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, it, Stephanie is insanely young at this point. I think she's only 22 in 99. Yeah, 22 uh, or 23, really? I think. Yeah, wow. she, it's crazy to see her look so young. And this promo goes left real quick. It's kind of yeah. crazy. Uh, <laughs> because of Stephanie and also because of the crowd. <laughs> oh, the crowd is does not quite, like Vince. 
No, they, well, <laughs> Vince comes out, he's trying, you know, because uh, things are should be copacetic with Austin and Vince now. Everything's cool. Vince says he's out here to apologize, and uh, the crowd immediately uh, is chanting, asshole, at <laughs> You Vince. are an asshole. <laughs> and then he says, he says, yes, I was an asshole. Yes, I have been that, <laughs> and hopefully I can change. <laughs> <laughs> is it weird that he was uh is it weird that he was Vince here and not Mr. McMahon or did they just uh, did they always try to Vince? humanize to Mr. McMahon's a heel. Bro. It's Mr. A McMahon's a here. heel but Vince McMahon is a face. So Vince McMahon goes straight into this whole thing. He talks about how he stepped on a few toes in the name of business. He's crushed a mm. few toes. He even sucked a few toes, clean up the bone mm. marrow. Hey, Tony, mm. you like that shit, Tony? So Stephanie grabs the mic and immediately goes, you know, Undertaker stripped all my clothes off and god, oh my god. Yeah! Undertaker, man, he just wanted to get inside Woo! of my mind. He wanted to get inside of my mind. Boo! <laughs> Stephanie goes, Undertaker, I hope you burn in hell. <laughs> yeah. It's real weird. Like, Vince yeah. was putting over Shamrock, and she, he said, thank you, Shamrock, for helping Stephanie. Thank you, Stone Cold, for helping Stephanie. Thank you, Big Show, for leaving for AEW. We- and- <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, Big Show, burn in hell. Watch that- didn't we watch an episode where Ken Shamrock saved Stephanie? We watched him. I swear we did with a baseball bat, and he was running around backstage. Or was that him? Say- yeah, 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 I think so. And then the ministry. That was the show that the ministry did a run in every match. That's where the Undertaker <laughs> went underneath the stage, and it didn't have anything to hide. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. just him smiling, <laughs> he <was> laughing, just <laughs> Undertaker venting oh. in public, <laughs> corpsing as he's going underneath the ring. <laughs> Oh yeah, I the stage. Yeah, yeah. yeah she, oh, but... Stephanie says uh, the Undertaker kept touching me, and the crowd is like every time Weird. she mentions something weird, the crowd pops for it, which is just Weird. like she literally so said he fucking he, weird. The Undertaker took my clothes off. Yeah, yeah. show yeah. me that pussy. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dead man. Yeah, woo. Yeah, and he put that black robe on me. Boo. <laughs> He'll cover up. Hate that Fucking, guy. But yeah, she says, I hope you burn in hell. Uh, Vince says, I'd like to make a promise to Stone Cold. And before he gets to make that promise, his music hits. What the hell? But it's Shane. <laughs> it's Shane with his music. <laughs> a different man. Everyone uses this damn yeah. music. <laughs> uh, Shane McMahon and the corporation come down to the ring. Uh, Main Street Posse, Big Boss Man, Triple H, China. They all come down. Yes. Shane doesn't give a rat's ass about a rat's ass. Your rat ass. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, he said, hey, Vince, I almost regurgitated in the back. <laughs> he's, he, yeah, Shane cuts promos like he's trying to be the rock. <laughs> he really does. I'm surprised he didn't say Shane McMahon doesn't give a rat's ass about Vince McMahon's rat's ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and if I had to hear the phrase daddy's little girl one more time, I was going to lose my fucking Daddy's marble. little girl. Daddy's little girl. <laughs> You just Eddie, I don't care about daddy's little girl. <laughs> it's your sister, bro. Well, Vince. <laughs> <laughs> and then it cut to a it cut to a sign in the crowd that said "Sex twenty four seven. I love you, Heather." So, <laughs> so this is real weird. Awesome. Shout out to Heather. Shout out to Heather. <laughs> sex twenty four seven. Excess of sex. That sounds like. Oh, he had so much access to it. Too. So yeah, Shane says, "I don't give a rat's ass about Daddy's little girl, about Stone Cold, or about you, Vince." And then Vince says, "Well, maybe you should have give a rat's ass about this." And he goes to hit Shane, but then Triple H and China step in the way. I, don't, I Vince should have just hit both of them. And Shane says, "Uh, you get your attitude out of my face before." I slap the wrinkles out of yours. <laughs> now you may believe and take your precious little daughter with you. This is <laughs> my <does>. show. <laughs> he says, oh, la, la, precious. La, 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 la. Oh, if you smell. <laughs> what the Shane is cooking. He even, said, he even said, look at the tongue, look at the tongue, look at the tongue. La, 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 la. Oh. It's Shane in front of my millions and millions <laughs> of dollars. Of oh, oh, daddy's little <laughs> girls. <laughs> Pulled down his glasses and raised one eyebrow. He should have called his fans "Daddy's Little Girls." <laughs> I'm pretty sure he did after this promo. How many times he said it? It was incredible. I thought Vince was going to drop like a killer line here. Is like he was he wise over something. He says, "One day you may be a man, but right now you're acting like a petulant little boy." I was like, "Damn, bro, you can't even call him a bitch or something." <laughs> this was <laughs> not this bitch was on UPN? nice. This was nice, Mister McMahon. This was Vince. Remember, not Mister McMahon. Oh, uh, that's fair. You're an asshole. So- yeah, well, maybe you have some points. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Well, and yeah, yeah, that's sorry pretty about true. That. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. 
So yeah. Vincent, Vincent, Stephanie leave, and then Shane spends the next three minutes saying every variation of goodbye that he can. <laughs> bye bye, <laughs> adios, <laughs> see ya, sayonara. <laughs> just get to step in, bitch. Toodaloo. <laughs> just every fucking thing. <laughs> Shane announces the main event tonight, which is in this Triple H. very ring. <laughs> Which was a big line for the McMahons. I don't know why. <laughs> Ta-ta. In Triple the people's H. ring tonight. Yes. Triple H and somebody we're going to announce later, as in like a minute later. Right Versus now. The Rock and Steve Austin. Yeah. Uh, Shane then goes, are there any takers? Nah. I saw Timberlake. Yeah, my man said, huh, I have this pre-recorded satellite message for this exact moment. <laughs> <laughs> Triple H accepted being in the match and then how is no one in the corporation not offended that Shane blatantly didn't pick them as they were trying uh, to get all into like the raising match. their hands even the mean yeah. speed what, what, raising their hands what is Pete Gas going to say what is Pete Gas going to say but boss man you can't boss man was big, in there boss China man there. has his own few going on right now later on <laughs> he's got right? something going on yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean I feel like y'all yeah, Shane says are there any takers and an Undertaker's music hits and then a really blue Undertaker shows up on the Tron <laughs> <laughs> That's the blue part of the show. <laughs> 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 yeah. Really, Blue Undertaker shows and says, Hey, how's it going? <laughs> he says, I saw Timberlake. How are you doing? And this is a two minute, yeah, yeah. this is a two minute promo that they just the the way we watch it is by showing a cameraman filming the Tron. They Why don't, don't we just watch the video? It. Yes, they just show the Tron. Dude, uh, you <laughs> know what? Start- Pointing lasers at it. You know what's crazy, man? I feel like that happened to Undertaker every single it did, time. Every because he was the only one that did like lights out promos. So this this whole setup here reminded me so much of what AEW feels like now. The, yeah, uh, like it's just like off the cuff, it's chaotic. They don't really think everything through. They don't really like they they have an idea of how things should go. And then they yeah. just kind of go that way. They don't really, they, they don't really the think fly, about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. That's how it kind of yeah. feels like watching this. Like, you're right. It feels they should the cuff, have, yeah. They should have pulled up the video, but instead they pointed the camera at it and <laughs> let people point lasers at screen. it. <laughs> yeah. That's because Mr. McMahon like, wasn't on Gorilla yeah. yet. He was still, like, walking back, so he wasn't ready, you know. He wasn't yeah, ready I, I actually that. like this presentation a lot. It feels more alive, I guess. It feels more like anything could truly happen at this point. Well, yeah, because like if the they cut to the footage, if you cut to the footage, you would, think oh that's already set up but if they show it on the screen it's like oh we didn't know he's gonna be there Undertaker staring <laughs> that at the shit camera is for the- set up dude s- stare- <laughs> Undertaker staring and just waiting for the pop to end on the video <laughs> Uh, You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Just in case somebody mentions my name, give me that camera. <laughs> Visera. How did he set this, this up? Is somebody from the ministry like videotaping him or something? Yeah, a really small member of the ministry was underneath him. <laughs> <laughs> underneath is probably Visera. So Undertaker, uh, he cuts a promo about nothing. <laughs> and he's and Shane says, all right, I guess you're in. <laughs> he and says, says hear him. Why does all that happen? Because Shane McMahon says so. The one thing I took out of this taker was I will be the judge, jury, executioner, and coroner, which is kind of cool. He's gonna He said I'll be three you. things, and he names five things. <laughs> <laughs> so they start showing like match graphics for the rest of the show, and these things are so fucked. <laughs> these are, are incredible. I love them. They are ridiculous looking. Just Everyone. Stick the PNGs on there. Yeah. <laughs> it's just. It's just this is how WCW was this time. I was too. just gonna say it looks like yeah. WCW's presentation ten weeks after just they started stick doing the it. PNGs on the fucking picture and move on. <laughs> Mankind's hair is like four different colors. <laughs> you can see the white. Using the crop tool is not easy. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so we go into Val Venus versus the Blue Blazer as the first match of the evening. How dare here. you? It's him versus Jeff Jarrett, of course. Oh my bad. You're right. So Jeff Jarrett's here with Deborah. Deborah was so incredibly over at this point Booba. it's insane <laughs> yeah <laughs> queen booba <laughs> they showed them two walking backstage and booba indeed and then they show blue blazer running through the backstage and he goes woo, woo. <laughs> he was out having a good time <laughs> it's awesome yeah blue blazer was fucking out of his mind at this point like 
It I was mean, you have to a, be, right? Yeah, I mean, you already didn't want to do this gimmick. Yeah, and just, she was just like, well. whatever. Drink the milk. Drink yeah. your milk. <laughs> <laughs> just pop myself at this point. Fuck it. Yeah, he's just going crazy with this. Yeah. Val Venus is going to do his little gimmick. He has been getting completely just steamrolled by Nicole Bass for the last few weeks. <laughs> Nicole Bass you wants to fuck him. Wants to fl- you got a bra. Oh my God, I forgot about that. Holy shit. Nicole Bass just wants to fuck... Val Venus, she's not happy that Val Venus wants to have sex with Deborah. Val Venus cuts a promo inviting all the ladies to invest in Bitcoin. Uh, he says, well, I wrote this out of <laughs> ladies tonight. I would like to invite everyone to invest in my stonks. <laughs> he says, it's, always, it's always ladies. <laughs> it's always more up than it's down. And with this fun, there will never be an early withdrawal. Come jokes. Come. I said I will always come inside of you. Yeah. Because that's what it sounded like. What a and weird uh, guy. three weeks ago on Raw, Deborah teased her titties to Val Venus, just like she's done to every single wrestler on the fucking show, and everyone falls for it. Booba. <laughs> <laughs> So we get Val Venus is supposed to be versus Jeff Jarrett, but he said, nah, not today. And Blue Blazer comes in and attacks him as uh, (laughs) as he's looking at Jeff Jarrett. So Blue Blazer comes in and now it's Val Venus because that's how this works. Val Venus versus Blue Blazer now. Val Venus also, when he came down to the ring, licked his thumb just erratically. <laughs> he it was actually fucked up how so much he <laughs> He's like, I'm a crack at it. <laughs> like, it's truly like a tick at this point. Maybe the rock man. stole his thing, so he had to come up with something new. <laughs> look at the Dude. thumb, look at the thumb. <laughs> yeah, <and it's> James <laughs> thumb. What was up with the camera cuts in this one for Val Venus? Did he fuck up a ton? Or? I See, I don't know. I thought that too. There's one later too that I, I must have wrote it down. I don't remember. But yeah, there You're was some erratic. weird... Yeah. I don't know what that was. So Jeff Jarrett does have his don't piss me off shirt on. And he says, Very good. don't piss me off. He goes, don't beat me off. Yes. <laughs> don't, don't tick me off, as the figure says. Jarrett distracts Venus in this match. Blue Blazer, like I said, comes and attacks him. The crowd does not care about this match. <laughs> Uh, Blazer's the, wrestling in this cape. Do you guys see like there's like a hole yeah, or something he's, in the he's cape? He's not taking it off. He knows what's happening. The hole in the cape. Yes. The hole in the cape. Uh, at one point, Venus gives like a suplex and the cape like goes around him. So they have to like cut. <laughs> he gets because, stuck like, in it. He gets uh, stuck in the cape. Deborah gets on the aprons and shows her titties. And, uh, That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> Val uh, hits the fisherman suplex while the referee is distracted with the titties, uh, and then he has a bridge on Blue Blazer. Jeff Jarrett gets in the ring and just full on kicks him right in the balls, <laughs> he just, 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 just straight on, so kicks him. fucking hard, <laughs> kicks him right in the dick. <laughs> And Blue Blazer gets the pinfall because my bo- his balls were too hurt to kick out. The balls were too inert. <laughs> <laughs> then Nicole Bass comes down to the ring and She's got a problem. Venus immediately goes, I think that my balls are fine. I have to my balls away. are fine. Please don't help me with these balls. <laughs> 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 my balls, my balls. I'm sorry. And, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, the cold bass pocket. really wants to suck his balls. He does not want her to suck his balls. So then we have Godfather. Uh, this <laughs> segment is not but, over. Hold on, hold on. This is, yeah, this is the same thing. This is all one thing. Blue Blazer, yeah. then Nicole Bass, then Godfather, yes. same thing. It's still going on. No cuts. This is one of continuous of segment. Yes. A lot of people. Why was this happening? So Godfather defeated Jared at some point. Which means that Deborah has to is be one of the hoes. Oh, uh, yeah, one of the women of the night. That makes sense. <laughs> no, women of listen, the night. Man, they called them hoes. <laughs> well, Jim Cornette called a woman of the night. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, he, he well, know. he's come to collect. Godfather wants his hoes so much, he almost yes. trips coming to the ring. Okay, rank. yes. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's so adamant on retrieving his merchandise. He that spent he's so running. much money on it in the SmackDown shop. He said, I got to get it now. <laughs> he runs down to the ring and legit almost trips and dies falling. And he, th- he recovered, though, and got into the ring and uh, bumps Jeff and Blue Blazer. And now it is time for the Godfather to have sex with Deborah. Uh, <laughs> The crowd said, woo! Yeah, fuck her! And Blue Brother Bra- said, woo! <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, yeah, he did not get to do this because Jeff and Blue Blazer jumped him and then whooped his ass. And then Jeff hit the stroke on Godfather and no one sold it. No one reacted it was to a it. Fr- it's the front Russian leg sweeper or whatever they did call it. Did he never do this yet? They this didn't call the it the stroke There's yet. There's no way it's the, the first stroke. time, is it? I might, because they didn't react to it. They didn't have, it doesn't have a name. They called it the Russian leg sweep on commentary too, so they didn't even call it the stroke. And I don't so. think he ever called it the stroke in WWF, did he? Wow, really? Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. he because he's gone soon, right? 
Oh, absolutely, dude. He's world champion in six months in WCW. He said, let, so. me, let me try this out. <laughs> didn't he I'll quit name it later. Came, this was like when he, he, didn't he quit WWE and then came back and then quit again? I think this was a second stint after he quit the first time. I, I think he's in WCW that. very yeah, soon Like James afterwards. said, I think he won the title within six months in WCW. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. yeah oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, he hits it, the stroke, no name for he just he just does it. Uh, and then Blue Blazer has a Second rope elbow drop for fun. Woo. So The Rock is backstage talking to himself about candy asses. <laughs> this is so weird. It, what's, it, what's wrong with him? <laughs> the Rock's back there. He's like, oh, the rattlesnake and the primal bull rubbing elbows tonight. And he's just walking <laughs> back and forth pacing. I'm like, what the fuck is In my saying? mind, he was like preparing lines and he didn't realize he was being filmed. <laughs> he's just mumbling like candy asses or Down Hotel. Uh, poon down. Poon and The Rock says. And when his side burns, he said, Rock, he's going to make a bunch of Candy ass is famous tonight. Candy ass and the rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, true. So then we get a blue blazer promo backstage. Kevin Kelly, uh, who is Whoa! basically the Alex Marvez of this time period. Dude, I always he is, yeah. You can see Farouk <laughs> just walking around backstage, yeah. by the way. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Wandering in the background. Kevin Kelly says, you know, we're uh, looking for Owen Hart. And Blue Blazer says, Well, I also am looking for Owen Hart. <laughs> 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 he says there's too much. Cleavage. <laughs> he does. He could not find the line there. He was looking everywhere for it. He's like, uh, cleavage. cleavage. Yeah. And that that Val, Val. I can't even say his last name, but you know what it rhymes with. The WWF is deplorable, and the WWF needs a superhero like Blue Blazer. And take your vitamins, say your prayers, and drink your milk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's cool. awesome. Yeah. Uh, so then we get Big Show versus Test. This is. Peak Big Show look for me. This is this my is favorite. Crazy, man. Dude, big this show, look. show is jacked here. He's, He's so, so fucking big. big with the braided ponytail. I aspire to be this Big Show. <laughs> He's only twenty-seven here, man. Fuck. Wow, dude. That's fucking crazy. I, one thing I I liked about uh, Big Show's entrance all the time. I feel like it's underrated just because he did it because he had to, but not because it was a cool thing mm -hmm. to do. But whenever he came out, he had to duck under the Tron <laughs> to come out. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, thought that was that's cool awesome. as fuck. That's really yeah. 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 too. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty dope. Did you guys notice uh, Captain Insano sign in the crowd? That was yes, I wrote that down. Captain oh, Insano sign. That's fucking yeah. sweet. Uh, Tess not in the corporation anymore. Kicked out. Boss Man attacked him last week on Raw. Well, son of a bitch. I would say Tess sort of initiated, but Boss Man went through with it. Boss Man was trying to blame Tess for their loss, I think, and then Tess was not happy with that, and then pushed Boss Man, and Boss Man decked him with a nightstick. Man, Boss Man looks so dope with this gimmick. Oh, with the yeah. nightstick. I <laughs> love this Yeah, this, look. Look. Yeah, this, this is, is cool. so cool. Big Show Man was an absolute menace in this one, dude. Dude, what the hell? He's Big Show throws a drop kick. A it big fucking massive. drop kick. Big, huge drop kick. Yes. This is awesome. Yeah. yeah. Dope. This Big match was just the go out there. Out test. Test, I was going to say, this match just go out there and beat up Tess. This was all this was. <laughs> Tess gets nothing for some reason, which I don't know why. I feel like Tess could have hit the boot or something. No. But... <laughs> Big Show has to. He, he just came off an Adam Sandler movie. It all makes right? even less sense when what happens later is that they're, you know, spoilers, but they're, they're friends later. <laughs> like the same night, they're friends. <laughs> So backstage and bonded over FUBU shirts. Yeah, <laughs> Tess borrows his shirt later on. I think it's within uh, five minutes they're friends, actually. There's a couple fun signs uh, in the crowd during this. There's a Jerry Lynn sign in the front row. <laughs> um, there's a sign that says two words, fire test. <laughs> oh, okay. And, and there's a sign that says Rudy Poe candy ass. <laughs> Not Rudy Poe. <laughs> Rudy Poe. <laughs> big Show hits the big choke slam to the knees and wins quick on this one. Showstopper. I love this. This is awesome. Boss man likes what he sees in Big Show. He's like, hey, <laughs> brother, you want to hang out? And Big Show goes, absolutely fucking not. He fuck chases no, him dude. out of the ring. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> the, the Big Show said, right, I guess I'm leaving now. The boss is like, all right, well, I'm going to take this now. <laughs> <laughs> Which, honestly, I kind of like that a lot. <laughs> it's yeah. like, Big Show wasn't there. Like He was like, right, I'm not, you know, you better get the fuck out of here. You're not going to fuck with me. And then he leaves. He thinks it's all done. Boss man's crafty gets in the ring starts whooping test ass with the night second big shows at the whole hold on now <laughs> <laughs> yeah what's going on in here yeah big show comes back to the ring and makes a save for test and that's sort of where i guess they start becoming friends a little bit sure we get a rock promo you smell god this theme song <laughs> rules dude it does it does rule wow the rock is full of catchphrases here I mean, yeah, this is that, peak that's always rock got, catchphrase yeah. here. Like as he went into Hollywood rock, little less catchphrases, more off mm -hmm. the cuff, like ad lib and shit. 
Sure. Oh, yeah. This rock. Talking about the SmackDown Hotel, the Rudy Poo candy asses. Yeah. He even started doing a new one. He said, the fist is your mouth, foot in your ass. I said, oh, here we go. <laughs> I don't know if that one caught on as well. I, mean, <laughs> I don't think so. It was so uh, he's he's going to stick his horns up their ass, too. Yeah. <laughs> Big probable horn ass guy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Rock says he will work with Steve Austin, but if he makes a wrong move, he's going to stick the Brahma Bull's horn straight up his ass. <laughs> he's not even going to shine it up or anything. He's just going to no, stick the horn. No, you don't get any, straight up that any ass. treatment. He's not going to shine your ass or these horns. <laughs> oh, man. So Stone Cold said, what the fuck? And he comes out. <laughs> now, hold on now, son. <laughs> Dude, the smoking skull belt is so fucking oh, looks cool, so, man. It looks so good right here, especially with With the snake skin? Stone Cold, Cold is iced out of his there. mind. It's <laughs> insane. <laughs> this guy's look at this point. You, This is why he was the number one guy in the biz. <laughs> <laughs> this dude was the leanest he's ever been. Camo hat, one knee brace, gold chain with pendant. This is a variant Stone Cold. This is so fucked. It's insane. I said, this is the iciest man I've ever seen in my life. He that also, vest, yes. that vest was oh, so good. Is that the BMF one or no? It was 100% whoop ass. 100% whoop ass. <laughs> oh, that yeah. was so good, dude. How icy was his dude? He's oh, out of his man. mind. Just he also, he's getting in the ring, and he, he's Stone Cold. has got to hit the corner. So he's hitting every corner and flipping off the rock in the middle of crossing. <laughs> That's <laughs> so good. All That's four like corners. Does it all four corners. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Stone That's Cold great. then says, uh, The Rock will always be a punk kid coming out here spitting nursery rhymes. Oh, Stone Cold. <laughs> Stone Cold. Well, he's, uh, he says, I'll knock those stupid horns off your head, wipe your ass, put you on a barbecue grill, and that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> what? He, said, he just randomly throws in, uh, uh, for no reason at all. He's like, The Rock spitting nursery rhymes. Uh, uh. I'm like, what the fuck? He just throws that in there randomly. At least Stone Cold had the consideration to wipe his ass. Dude, Rock wouldn't even shine his ass he's up. He's gonna barbecue the Brahma Bull. That was a pretty good line. That's I all I got that. to say about that. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> all right. True. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, he could have said anything in the world that he wanted to. Just look at this fucking guy. Oh, my ben, God. Yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ben Yanez. <laughs> Rock out here looking real cute. <laughs> oh, oh Stone Cold. Gonna take a bucket, take this water out, and throw it over. <laughs> if you want to see Stone Cold, balcony. fill this kiddie pool with whoa, whoa. <laughs> Give me a hell yeah. Oh, you want to yeah, see, yeah. see the Bible Ball do a backflip? Give me a hell yeah. <laughs> This is full liberty. And then, and then, right out of now. nowhere, you, you he, out of nowhere, you hear, "Do you smell what the rock is cooking?" And Shane McMahon comes out. <laughs> Shane comes out and says, eh, eh. <laughs> "Shane comes out, if you smell." Shane yeah. comes out, looks right in the la, crowd, la, 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 la. grabs the mic, turns sideways, goes, <laughs> "Finally." <laughs> He's painted on sideburns at this point, <laughs> wearing glasses. <laughs> Hey, Rock, Fine. it's me, The Rock. <laughs> I never noticed how much he's The Rock until we started talking about it. Oh, dude. You two can't get along. You two make each other sick. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Look at the two of you jabronis. La, 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 la. And while you're looking at it, look at the tongue. Look at the tongue. <laughs> My plan is getting bigger and better, he says. Uh, so Shay comes out Asshole. and <laughs> they did not like this guy. No, fuck him. Uh, Shay goes out and then he brings the Undertaker out. The arena goes dark for the Undertaker and then everyone in the audience happened to have laser pointers for the exact <laughs> reason. My plan is getting bigger and better as we speak. Ah, sa Timbale. Oh, shit. <laughs> What the fuck? I don't know. Yeah, so this time he's what actually the... here. That's awesome. He is actually. He found his way. He yeah. <laughs> found his way to the he arena. He was in the arena earlier, but he decided to record that. Okay. Yeah. So it's Shane and Undertaker standing side by side, giving each other a little look. They look at the ring, and commentary's flipping out. They're selling this like crazy. Yeah, Shane's on the mic. Crazy. The music's playing still. Boys, are you beginning to feel the power? Well, let me help you. Let me help spell it out for you just a little bit more. And then corporation starts filing out. Uh, the ministry starts filing out. Farouk is lost. He doesn't know which side of the stage to stand on. <laughs> he was lost earlier in the blue blazer <laughs> part. What's he doing? Farouk not knowing where anything is going on. Sorry, am I really a part of this? Hey, this is crazy. 
<laughs> Dude, there were so many people. There was Taker, Midian, Viscera, Acolytes, Everyone. Paul Bear, Big Boss Man, Triple H, China, Mean Street, Bossy, yeah. Shane. All of them are out. Just to take on the Rock of Stone Cold. And Which, Shane goes, any takers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> any juicers? <laughs> any, any takers in the chat? Any yeah. juicers? <laughs> Uh, so they keep cutting the shots of Austin and Rock in the ring looking real fucking confused. This is they like they look at I each mean, other. They, both, they look at yeah. each other and they're like, oh shit. We're, I yeah, know, like we're making crazy. like fun of this, but like this is actually really fucking cool. It's like, such what a, a sweet, like, sweet visual. Is this like the is this the halfway spot of the show or what? Because this is like a weird. It seems weird that they would form it at this point in the show. Oh, you think they're about and, to enter the SmackDown zone? <laughs> <laughs> The oh, the zone. Smack zone. <laughs> I'm just wondering because like it's Everybody such a ground. weird time for them to like you you think they'd save it till the end of the show to form a corporate ministry. Yeah. But they do it like yeah, right maybe, here. well, I guess because they wanted to build that main event. So right. they already had yeah. it announced, so I guess they didn't have to do this, but I guess they're like, oh fuck it. Do a big thing on on SmackDown just so we can show it on Raw and people will watch it. Yeah, um, yeah that's, that's good, true. a good idea. But yeah, cool fucking visual. The, all the lights are out. There's just a spotlight in the ring on Austin and Rock, and they're looking like fuck. Corporate ministries on the stage. Shane saying, "Austin, Rock, let me be the first to introduce you to the corporate ministry." And they all fucking leave, and everyone's pissed. I'm like, "Oh, this is pretty evil. That's cool." It's not cool commentary. Vision. They make a merger from hell. So, oh wow! <laughs> oh, that was a good line. That was <laughs> yeah, really that was fucking line, awesome. Yeah. So then we have X Pac and Kane backstage doing a promo. Uh, Kane, Kevin Kelly. Thankfully, not talking here. <laughs> Thank fuck. <laughs> Just shutting up. That's Remember what yes. Xbox said, you don't need that stupid voice thing. You can talk, <laughs> dude. Bro, hey, my, doctor, my doctor gave me this, dude. You don't need that thing anymore. <laughs> Come on! Yes, I do. <laughs> I think Xbox Man? needed you hear his voice. I swear, ah, he needs that I thing. <laughs> you don't you know, need that. The, the, the way Xbox says that stick is lives right for you. Hey, we gotta watch that episode now. We God. should. Need that thing we as well. should. Yeah, it's even just like that. It's actually, it's so we fun to say. That. You need that thing you want. <laughs> Come on. And Poor Kane bullied into talking. <laughs> all all he has to say is, suck it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. He said, I'm going to fucking beat your ass for the next couple of weeks. I promise you. Uh, so X, X fucking Kane do a promo backstage. Kane got bloodbathed by the brood on Raw and then attacked X. <laughs> 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 they just beat the fuck out of Xbox. What a great gimmick. Every week, Kane gets confused and beats up Xbox. <laughs> Kevin Kelly asks Xbox, what, is, what does he think about Kane attacking him every week? And Xbox goes, I, you know what, dude? It doesn't matter. You, you, he says, you want to be that predictable? That's what you go get. He Kevin looks at Kelly. Kevin Kelly. He says, you don't need that stupid thing. He throws the microphone down. Grabs the mic. Grabs the mic, throws it down. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Kevin Kelly is so confused. Kevin Kelly goes, okay. <laughs> Kevin Kelly. <laughs> Without the mic, he sounds like gay. <laughs> <laughs> that should have been an Xbox entire gimmick. You know what that's doing there? He's just, he just really, four interviewers having a better job. <laughs> you know what that's doing there? <laughs> Slaps it down. <laughs> he just politely picks it back up. Yes, I do. So, <laughs> Xbox. Kevin Kelly also <laughs> refers to the members of DX as DXers. <laughs> DXers? DXers in the chat. <laughs> oh, Not so, DXites. DXites. Oh. None of them. <laughs> so, so Kane. <laughs> Kane, uh, Xbox walks away and then Kane walks away, but not before <laughs> Kane <laughs> almost kills Kevin Kelly. I feel like Kevin Kelly almost killed Kane, really. <laughs> it was almost a disaster. So Kane's walking away. The microphone wire is all over Kane's leg. And Kane says, You don't even see what they get for. And kicks the microphone out of his hand. <laughs> Kevin goes, ah! <laughs> Kane's leaving the scene and he trips over the mic cord and it almost rips Kevin Kelly's arm off. It doesn't cut from that scene at all either. It just stays hard on Kevin <laughs> Kelly. Kevin <laughs> Kelly looks horrified at the hard cam. <laughs> Shit. Oh, fuck. Uh, so then we move on. We have a Draws versus D'Lo Brown match. Prince Albert is out here with Draws. Uh, Prince Albert is a uh, piercer at this point. That's his gimmick. I actually don't mind He's a this. Personal tattoo. No, I thought tattoo, the, he's a tattoo artist and a piercing 
person yes. or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Usually, I feel like that goes hand in hand. I feel like every every tattoo place I've ever been piercing? to does. They're yeah, together. Does yeah. Too. Uh, yeah. There. It's. I mean, it's a good gimmick. Draws with the hat. Big old hat. <laughs> Draws sure. gimmick is hat. Dude, the hat, <laughs> the hat is, is awesome. in WrestleMania 2000 too, in different colors as well. The hat. What do you think of the name Prince Albert? Do you like that name? Yeah, big cock guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put piercing in my pee pee hole, <laughs> please. I, I didn't know, know what it was as a kid. I had no clue. I did not know. I I thought I definitely thought he was gonna go for the cock when he pulled out the the <laughs> piercer thing. Yeah. You don't need this thing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Put a big hole in Dilo Brown's top. Takes his dick off. <laughs> Xbox just does run-ins randomly on matches. <laughs> just see when it comes out of the oh, every, the car she comes down with the with the kid stick. You don't need that anymore. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that was Stone Cold's smoking skull belt. <laughs> and then got a stutter. <laughs> he got fired. <laughs> and Barry on a podcast 15 years later. <laughs> I don't know what oh, this, oh, this kid was doing. <laughs> Oh, oh. Also, uh, also back oh, to my this stuff. Uh, uh, following uh, this, Sable goes to Hollywood. Right. <laughs> oh shit! Albert has a shirt on here that says WWF Hotel and Casino, and on the back it says "Cause life's a crab shoot." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Albert. <laughs> <laughs> True. Um, Ivory comes out with D'Lo Brown here. Yeah, D'Lo Brown, um, full D'Lo Brown here. Oh, he is going Bobbing. nuts. Yeah. His, his, head's, his head's about to fall off. Yeah, that's how much he's going crazy. Yeah, did they awesome. ever sell D'Lo Brown uh, bobbleheads? TNA did. That's the I, only people that did. I remember TNA did. doing it, but yeah. WWF didn't. That's weird. I don't that's know how so that stupid. never happened. Yeah, it's yeah. ridiculous. I'm sure they sold like Prince Albert, like uh, piercing guns or something, <laughs> yeah. but not the D'Lo Brown <laughs> bobblehead. Box. voice boxes. <laughs> Kane, Kane voice boxes you can knock out of his, your, uh, knock out of his hand. The action figure is Kane holding oh. the thing, and X, the only thing Xbox can do is think... slam his hand down. Pop. You, He's got pop. the karate chop. <laughs> you think they would have had a cane figure to come with that, but I don't think they did. I don't think what? they ever did, no. Never? Yeah, I don't oh, think probably so. Probably because Xbox said, you don't need that stupid thing anymore. <laughs> yeah, they went to, <laughs> he went to the production company. <laughs> Went to Jack he probably, they actually probably made it, and then Xbox just went up to each individual figure and said, like, you are. <laughs> Took him out. Xbox, get off the drugs. <laughs> this match was whatever. It's really just a means to an end. To, to, they just did their spots. D'Lo hit all of his fucking moves. <laughs> I don't think yeah. Draws did anything in this Draws match. Draws had a hat. <laughs> yeah, Draws a little hat on. D'Lo oh, hit the man, running lager bomb. <laughs> He did the sky high. He went for the low down, and then Ivory distracted the ref for some reason, <laughs> which led to Albert pushing D'Lo off the top. What the fuck are you doing, Ivory? I don't know. She don't know. Uh, Albert gets in as a Michinoku driver. That was cool. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, it, was like, nah, it was like it was in it was like a press slam one too. Oh yeah, he got he got that bitch. It was like all over the yeah. head, arms yeah. extended, then down to that was pretty Michinoku cool. Driver. Um, yeah, then Albert breaks out his piercing gun, and uh, he grabs D'Lo <laughs> Brown's tongue. He goes, ah. Now where? <laughs> Where do you think, where, I, I'm not an expert in piercings, but the gigantic needle that Prince Albert had for this piercing seemed a little unnecessary. He was going to stress tongue. the hell out of that tongue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it that was, was going to be. It was, it was like a railroad spike. Yeah, that was going to be tough. <laughs> yeah. It's all about the visual, brother. It's yeah, that so. visual. That's one of them stretching devices. I don't know what that oh, is. Oh, shit, it could be a Prince up. Albert. <laughs> yeah, straight it. on your tongue. <laughs> I put my they, Prince Albert on your tongue. They, they, they definitely. That should have been a shirt. That should have been somebody good. though, didn't they? Like I feel like they did this one time and actually did pierce somebody. I just don't remember who it was. I don't actually remember if they did do it. I don't know if they did. I don't know. Maybe, probably have to with that big it. ass needle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, I shit. think they had the clamps. That's, yeah. They had to okay. do it to somebody that already had it pierced, right? Oh, here comes the clamps. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the clamps. <laughs> so anyways, he gets D'Lo Brown's tongue. He's got this big needle. And then Mark Henry in this big green suit <laughs> Dude, <laughs> runs what? the ring. What the fuck was this? Outfit? Michael Cole says, they're sexual chocolate. <laughs> Why? Uh, like, this is oh, yeah. the ugliest colored suit I've ever seen in my life. At least he keeps it consistent. You know? I guess. Yeah, I mean, he's just the suit guy. Like, he comes out and makes, he makes a save, and then D'Lo and Mark Henry hug. I'm guessing this is after they had split, because yeah, Mark Henry he was I think Mark Henry took his time sister. off. Yes. Yeah, Mark Henry took time off, I think, for a little bit, and then came back. <laughs> to fuck his sister. Yeah, oh well. <laughs> you know, he's sexual chocolate. 
<laughs> sexual baby. I love how he came in to make the save, and that's all they had to say about it was, there's sexual chocolate. It was the only thing they said, Mark Henry, there's sexual chocolate. Uh, and there's sexual chocolate. <laughs> yeah, that's all you need to know. <laughs> yeah, there he is. So then we have a New Age Outlaws promo afterwards. Kevin Kelly again. Uh, they asked the New Age Outlaws about facing their friend X-Pac. Road Dog is, says, X-Pac is my friend. And Billy Gunn says, fuck it. You don't need that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and slaps Road Dog. <laughs> yeah, Road Dog for some reason started reading a Dr. Seuss book, and then Billy Gunn goes, You don't have anything anymore. <laughs> and just climb it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the New Age Outlaws are crazy I don't know what the Yeah, Billy Gunn said fuck friends and he just leaves and Road Dog's like what the fuck bro I'm just saying Xbox my friend and Billy Gunn is serious brother he wants to tag titles Billy Gunn is done with Road Dog man he said I'm fucking done with this Me gimmick too. man I'm over it, it yeah. Road Dog's like please don't say that man please <laughs> this, bro, I don't like this, job. Is, this is all I have this is all, the only thing I have going please, bro, please they're firing bro. me if we're not a tag team <laughs> you have to keep the gimmick going he said I can't brother it's over so we get X Pac and Kane versus the New Age Outlaws. It's very unfair that even just for one night, we didn't get Green Kane. Just I one. Know. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I just one time we could have got Green Kane. I remember seeing the images online, like Angel yes, Fire, Geo Cities, or something. The Green, Green Kane. Oh, dude, every oh. every SmackDown versus Raw game had Green Kane on the CAWs. <laughs> Everyone was every... like, "Here's how you make it." <laughs> And every <laughs> <The> formula, <laughs> every forum you would go to had at least one person with that in their sig too. Here it is, yeah, that fucking green picture, cane. God. Then yeah. you see those photos. This is the rare green cane that he wore at a house show, and you're like, you never fucking wore that at a house it's like show. Like the mule by behind the truck on Pokemon or whatever. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> is real, dude. An Xbox music hit here. I swear it said Ow. Xbox, but then I went back and watched it, and I'm like, make some noise. I'm like, fuck, dude. I also been... used to think all the time that he said Xbox. I know well, we talked about not, it. We I'm even talked about wrong. it again. We even talked about it, but then I I heard it and I like just as I was watching in the back, I was like, "Did he say X Pac?" He I definitely look, like, man. As far he as says X Pac the second time. He says X Pac, but the first time, the first time, no, X Pac, the X Pac. No, uh, that's, damn that's it. right. That's his name. That's his dude, name. Also the, X, the Xbox Pyro was cool with the X. I used to love that. That X. was really cool, yeah. Dude, Xbox with the X Pyro with the X Pac. Xbox. <laughs> yeah. This this wasn't the ideal uh, Xbox Kane intro for me, though, because I liked it. I, I guess it was later on that they do this, where when Kane goes for his pyro, X-Pac decides that instead of acting scared for the pyro, he goes, cha 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 and points yeah. at X and points at Kane. <laughs> Dude, I love X-Pac so much, man. He's awesome. I love this little motherfucker like you couldn't believe, man. This um, is my dude I think we're up. gonna erase X-Pac heat. We're getting, bam, non-factor. I, I didn't don't know exist. who made that up. Some yeah. dude on a forum Fuck or you. It dude, there was, was no X Pac. This dude was awesome, man. It was probably yeah. some dude on dawwrestlingsite.com or some shit. You know, <laughs> exactly. all in the comments, brother. Yeah, watching Wade Barrett matches. <laughs> Twenty minutes. <laughs> dude, the, dude, the X X Pac when he came back at the NWO was even cooler because he came back. He said, "What the da? Yeah, I got that nunchucks. I got that nunchucks. And the shorts." Yeah, the short, that that whole attire for him was dude, real dope. Oh, they that just, was real good. They're putting out a figure of NWO X Pac that comes with the cane mask. Does it come oh, with nunchucks? That was so I good. I don't think it comes with nunchucks. What no. the fuck? That I'm was like sorry. his whole thing. I know. The cane mask was cool though too when he wore that. Around. It was cool. Yeah, little X Pac with the cane mask. They should come out with the WSX X Pac where he just has the same clothes on for nine episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Every show, and he can't stop telling you to suck his dick. <laughs> suck my cock. Road Dog and Billy come out here. Road Dog does his intro, and Billy wants nothing to do with it. <laughs> Just finish it up, bro. This Road Dog shirt is crazy. I What's want this say? Road Dog shirt. I don't even know what it says, but I remember it from being a kid. It's just... Like it the, probably says something like, uh, my name is Road Dog and ass fuck. <laughs> fuck yeah. ass. <laughs> yeah, on the front, front it said ass fuck. On the back it said all eyes matter. This guy's weird. <laughs> 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 Doggy style on the back, John 316. <laughs> Suck my dog cock. <laughs> Suck my little doggy dick. <laughs> Red Rocket Road Dog. <laughs> That's why he didn't want Billy Gunn to leave him. Please. I'm going to be Red bro. Rocket. <laughs> I'm going to call me Red Rocket if you go. <laughs> this match was hilarious. Kane just tags himself in by grabbing X Pocket. <laughs> 
tossing him into the turnbuckle <laughs> and then chopping the <laughs> shit out of him. Also, Road Dog and Xbox start and they're wrestling around, and then the 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 break spot is them crotch chopping at each other <laughs> as like a sign of respect. <laughs> Commentary was a gap. They had no clue what this yeah. was. Road Dog then just at one point low blows Kane right in front of the ref. The referee the, couldn't have been any closer to this low blow. The ref it was almost just, it was almost as if the ref did the low blow. The <laughs> ref just looks at Road Dog directly and just goes, "What the fuck? <laughs> Come on, man! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> we know oh <laughs> man!" Uh, Luckily, they didn't call it like a shoot back in the day. They just got to let it go because it's just like, whatever. Yeah. Um, Billy Gunn has X-Pac up for a gorilla press slam. Uh, Dude, but then Kane the throws fuck? Road Dog into him. X-Pac Kinda. falls on top of him. And then that's wins. enough to get him to win and he retain wins. the titles. Kane was going to choke slam Road Dog and X-Pac. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> Kane, yeah, Kane, <laughs> Kane like bumps somebody and then goes to choke slam like Billy and then also goes to choke slam <laughs> X Pac. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, he like turned around and he just immediately went for the goozle on X Pac. Like, what the fuck? It's fuck you, you X Pac. And then after that, X Pac goes to Bronco Buster Road Dog. Like nothing <laughs> happened. <laughs> this match was <laughs> fucked up. It was so all over the place. It was hilarious. So Billy Gunn and Road Dog are backstage after the match. Billy Gunn just not happy Son whatsoever. <laughs> just, yeah. just not happy at Idiot. all. Idiot. He doesn't want like, to fucking see with this guy. Shoot parking lot too. So then we get. Fuck. Oh my fuck. god. Fuck. Dude, wow. fuck. How is this how is this on the episode? How? Dude, I dude, when I told Deb, I was like, oh, we gotta watch this. He's like, oh, that's the that's the brood episode. I was like, the brood episode. I was like, oh no. <laughs> yeah. that was when we, oh, yes. we, we played this on the pod back in the day when we James did. Was in Japan. We had yeah. yeah, we yeah, yeah. Our our uh, famous so, promo segment that we're gonna have yeah. on the show. <laughs> so this is the brood segment, which is where <sighs> we get the the freaks come out at night line this, from Edge. It's the first brood promo ever. Doc Hendricks is in the ring. He's set to interview the brood. And I wrote, oh no. <laughs> 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 now, let me just before we get into the promo, the brood are so fucking cool. Oh, yeah. These dudes they are. are awesome. The entrance is the fucking This entrance coolest. is so sick. The music is so sick. They look cool as fuck. These dudes are cool. They bloodbath they, everybody. They bloodbath everybody. Gangrel's spitting li- red liquid. Because you can't say blood. You can't say it's blood for some reason. As we all did <laughs> as a kid, you know. You're spitting that red liquid. Viscous sla- red liquid. Yeah. Uh, get in the ring and... I couldn't even write how much I didn't want to hear this promo. I couldn't even write down what I wrote the first and, couple part and he goes, please the brood initially has not spoken by choice. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just wrote, the Oh laughing. no, this promo. Oh, the laughing. And I wrote, oh, oh, God. No, the, the only thing I wrote after is, Oh no, this promo is fucked. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> so yeah, the gay girl cuts his promo. He it's is re- like, I, just, I wish I could do it justice. I can't do it. it we can't, you have to go find it. Can't. it. No, yeah, you have to go find it. Listen, listen to, listen to him talk to Michael Hayes for five straight minutes, and it's just it it's is so, actually surreal. This was this is the moment they realize like he's not the star of this group. It's actually <laughs> Edge. It's actually Edge. Is, is so the they charisma. Gang Girl cuts the shittiest fucking promo ever, laughing like the worst of probably the worst hey, hey, promo. Hey. Like he reads it's, it like word for word off a script is what it was. <laughs> then he forgets his lines and says, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Christian is the smartest one in the ring. He doesn't say a word, <laughs> doesn't say anything. And then, so I'm almost convinced that they said Gangrel, they either knew Gangrel couldn't cut a promo or they asked him to go cut the shittiest promo ever. So uh-huh. Edge's promo could sound maybe slightly okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Because Edge cuts a promo, and it's also not good, but compared to Gangrel's, it's 316 he promo. Says, they <laughs> will understand. <laughs> Understanding is just a matter of time. We are who we are. Beware. Take care. Because the freaks Sp- come out at night. <laughs> <laughs> but the, there's girls in the crowd that are losing it for Edge during this Dude, promo. He, he just grabbed the mic and you go, woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. yeah, get it, yeah, beware, woo, yeah, you right. Yeah. And then Doc Hendricks lays into them, he says, this shit fucking sucks. <laughs> this this is, is the worst, worst shit, shit I've ever seen You guys Go are a bunch of fucking marks, this brood is nothing but a gimmick. 
And Gangrel says, we know we are and what we're capable of. You seem to be the only ones confused. <laughs> Isn't that right, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> And then that was the, so good. the lights go out. They they're they're starting to whoop his ass. They're gonna bloodbath him. And Jim Cornette goes on the quickest twenty second uh, rant to try to put over how cool Michael Hayes was in the Freebirds. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he was in the Freebirds. Yeah, it's a Memphis. He was south. He was south. And then Doc Hendricks gets bloodbath. It's like it's like it's like the the people at Gorilla couldn't hear him when the lights were out. So he's like, it's my chance now to take over this segment. <laughs> oh my god, Please. the Freebirds were incredible. They held the NWA Tag Team Championships for every goddamn all the time. <laughs> Oh my god, he's been bloodbath. He's so bloody. <laughs> so by the way, he's got bloodbath epic style. It's all over him and it's crazy and they're gone. They just left. Bloodbath is what a cool I I really like the bloodbath gimmick. That was never in a game. Never in a game. That's weird. Uh, yeah. it was never I can't in a believe. game. They didn't even in my like, mind like one it of is, but I guess not. I feel like, like I would have thought like that a road was... to WrestleMania or something back in the it, day. Am I it's not a cutscene in one of the SmackDown one or two, is it? Oh, no, I don't ever think I. It's probably because even... blood would be like ESRB rating, would it not? I don't know how it works. Maybe, maybe that's why I never did it. Maybe yeah, I don't know. Call it the red liquid bath. I mean, you could definitely get you could get hit by a car in SmackDown too. So I feel like I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm surprised you never yeah. got slimed either when DX was doing that gimmick. Yeah, they never did any game. of that kind of shit, huh? So Billy Gunn is backstage looking for X Pac. <laughs> He's pissed off. What are you chicken? So... <laughs> you chicken? <laughs> This Dude, so every fun. SmackDown we watch, Billy Gunn is searching for somebody backstage pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was looking for Mankind. That He's time. always pissed off looking for somebody. <laughs> Ken Shamrock is backstage, Kevin Kelly. Uh, he asks Ken Shamrock about Bradshaw whooping his ass. Yes. Ken says, well, he's going to pay because I was born in the streets, and he was born for the street fight. Oh, Ken yeah. said he was going to break his arms, break his legs, break his spirit, and then he's going to beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a hell of a way to do that. He was, in that I order. Mean, in that order, that's good. He was uh, he was upset because Bradshaw cost him his match against the Undertaker, which I believe was at Backlash, which was like a half hour long. Backlash, and, it's, and it sucked. <laughs> so yeah, and then we get Ken Shamrock versus Bradshaw. Well, I love that uh, Ken Shamrock Street Fighter attire is a tucked in t shirt in jorts. <laughs> that is very I'm, 1999. I'm pretty sure there's a figure of that. Exact look. Really? Too. Yeah, oh, really? I think wow. Jack's, Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's pretty. I'm pretty sure it's but like they a didn't gym put no charge with the X Pac figure. I'm okay. sorry. Well, it's Jacks. Right, well, Mattel's come not. Come on, good. Mattel. Whoever you are, <laughs> fix this. <laughs> Assigning the crowd during this match says 89 days till Raw is Jericho. I saw that too, and I was like, "Whoa, that's how the fuck did he know that?" But you told me that's not true, is it? It's not true. Uh, well, how many days I mean, he's was it? To be honest with you, he's really close. Um, I think it was actually 102 days. I don't know if that's exactly right either, but I believe Son that's of a right. Bitch. But he was pretty pretty close. I mean, for 1999, wow. he got pretty. He must be on that Mean Gene hotline or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe Chris Jericho told $15 him. Fifteen dollars a minute or whatever. Actually, it, was. it was it was actually Chris Jericho in the front row. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> what if it was? <laughs> hey guys, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> so this match is Shamrock and Bradshaw hitting each other as hard as humanly possible. Dude, uh, they, they just beat, beat the, the shit out of each other. Fuck, yeah, they, beat they the did. Fuck out of each other. Yeah, they were just swinging. And the crowd for the was so dead. They yeah, didn't they care were. at all. For I feel this. like they've been through a lot taping wise at this sure. point. Sure. Any other time, they probably would have been going crazy for this because they were really beating each other up. Shamrock did this weird thing where he did like. It was like a, a a sunset flip, but it was a single leg sunset flip into a like a, a ankle pick. It was so yeah, that was fucking cool. weird. That was cool. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, Shamrock, he never really followed any like traditional wrestling anything. He kind of I almost feel like he just he saw wrestling and then just started making shit up. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah. He learned how to do himself. A, learned how to do a front roll and a shoulder roll and a back bump. He said, "All right, well, fuck all this other shit." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It worked for him too. It did. It did. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, cool. you were, everybody remembers them, right? So that's yeah, something yeah. for you there. Uh, Shamrock and Bradshaw are hitting each other with the bat. Uh, Shamrock then puts on the kata hajabe <laughs> with the bat <laughs> <laughs> on Bradshaw. And Bradshaw takes 20 minutes to pass out. God, he should have just started choking him for real. Been like, All right, Bradshaw, let's uh, yeah, take it, over me, your buddy. Yeah, <laughs> um, he then holds it in forever until everybody comes out to try to stop him. Shamrock <laughs> then takes liberties and beats the fuck out of Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> I don't know if that ever. I I, I kind of want. I should have looked to see the episode of Raw after that. See if like it was Sergeant Slaughter get revenge. Like why did they have a beat up Sergeant Slaughter? <laughs> I like Stolen it because it was like that was. 
<laughs> that was so much gimmick though when he got in the zone you couldn't get out of it so then we get a mankind promo kevin kelly's backstage of mankind we i don't know this was weird this whole mankind promo was weird it was um, real weird yeah so mankind hearing the word sports entertainment come out of mankind's mouth in 1999 is also really fucking weird i feel like mankind didn't know this was gonna air because <laughs> he yeah. says a lot of crazy shit in it. he says like uh, i only wear this mask so kids will buy my toys <laughs> <laughs> he did say that it what was the fuck? Mr. Really, really said, i also got this custom sock i can't yeah <laughs> <laughs> and the sock looked exactly like him what the hell when did he start doing yeah, right that? his little sock mouth i don't know man Weird dude. when did mr uh, sako come around actually was it like 98 it was uh yeah it was when vince was in the hospital <laughs> yeah he say i got something to cheer you up <laughs> <laughs> okay so he was he was just getting more into the <laughs> yeah he was getting more into the comedy oh my here. fucking god <laughs> <laughs> this is the greatest thing I ever seen. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so Billy Gunn still looking for Xbox. <laughs> In the boiler room we're looking for him now. And man God goes, me and what a whiner. <laughs> <laughs> why really would weird. Xbox? It's, why well, would the fuck would Xbox be back there? What is Xbox? I really don't know. Yeah, Shane is backstage hyping up the corporate ministry. <laughs> this <laughs> felt like a WCW backstage segment with the NWO. <laughs> they must have did this last minute because Shane's giving this like rah rah speech to the corporate ministry, and it slowly fades out at the end where Shane has run out of things to say, and he says, "Ah." Uh, and it's because of me, Shane McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> la, la, la. They also do the they, <laughs> they also do the TNA peekaboo cam here, where they're like, yeah, like, yeah, like guys around the corner, like yeah. hiding, like all right. yeah. Then we get Big Boss Man versus Mankind. Big Boss Man again swinging his gimmick around. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't last very long at all. Um, no, it's they a means to an end. Yeah, so Mankind hits, which this is also weird. This whole night of Mankind is real fucking weird. So Mankind hits the double arm DDT and just like it's a regular move for him. <laughs> like, it's just like, oh, this yeah. is it now. This stuns Big Boss Man and then he goes for a suckle. And Boss Man uh, runs away. Boss Man said, I'm not, not dealing with that. <laughs> not today. <laughs> not so today, he rolls Chief. out of the ring and Tess runs down in cargo shorts with a FUBU jersey and throws him back in. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Big Show, I need something to put on real quick. Help. <laughs> uh, so then he goes in, Mankind gets a two count. Boss man then rolls back out, and then Big Show comes down to the <laughs> ring, and he gorilla, fucking gorilla press slams Boss man back into the ring from right in the front floor. of the referee. Right that in front of the cool. referee. The referee said, "What the fuck, dude?" <laughs> it was cool though. Uh, then man, then man kind of lies in a mandible claw and wins. I don't even yes. think they called it the manual claw this time. I don't even know what Sacco. they called it. They just called it Sako. You locked in Sako. <laughs> yeah, he did Sako to him. <laughs> you got the sock in him. All that, uh, the, the major takeaway from all this is Michael Cole saying, ah, Tesla was Motley Crue's former bodyguard. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was that. that. That's all they put the segment for. So Billy Gunn finds X Pac finally backstage. Where you, you'll never you'll fucking never, guess where he you'll found never X Pac. Where, where oh where did Billy find X Pac? So he found this door, and on the door it said <laughs> X Pac and Kane's locker room. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow Billy did not think to check the locker room to see if X Pac was in there. Uh, but you know, uh, I guess X Pac would probably be with Kane, so I guess Billy Gunn <laughs> didn't think that one through either. So Billy Gunn finds X Pac backstage and jumps him, and then Kane goes, "Hey yo, what the fuck? Get the fuck out of here, dude!" <laughs> yeah, and then Billy about. just leaves. <laughs> this is also like spliced footage, like. Billy comes into the room and then it cuts to another shot of Billy running down and attacking X Pac. It's two totally different shots, though. You know, I thought I thought he was gonna kick Billy out and then beat up X Pac. I thought Kane was gonna beat up. X -Pac. <laughs> that would have been awesome. Yeah, that would have been sick. <laughs> so then the Rock's walking backstage. Dude, uh, just ew. dude, just hawking loogies all over the walls. <laughs> All over the floors. <laughs> Rock is there's a shot behind him, and he just turns to the side and goes, it's just on the floor, all like, over the fucking ceiling. There's just loogies. There's just loogies everywhere. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> Anyone that walked down this hallway is gonna be like, oh my god. <laughs> and then Austin, of course, walking to the ring as well, not spitting on everything. Thank you, Steve. Wow, Steve, you're just a good guy. So we have Triple H, Undertaker versus The Rock and Steve Austin. Now, I want you to acknowledge something here, because I feel like we have this discussion uh, when we do our theme seg, which is coming up after this. So now that you've seen Triple H make his singles entrance with the corporation theme, do you accept it as one of his theme songs? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> but he did it right in front not, of your eyes. Not he did really it right it. there. He did it. Was it. Still, it was still a tag match, you know. Not, yeah, but he didn't even, come out. Taker didn't come out with it. Doesn't even matter. Nope. Not even close. <laughs> Damn it. All right. I'll uh, get you I so. loved it. Shane should have said every time, there are any takers? And then take it from there. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>
so Undertaker and Triple H versus The Rock and Steve Austin. Uh, yes. This is literally every main event for every show we've ever watched. <laughs> <laughs> we, and it always we, ends the exact same way. You know I think it's true. I think we pick true random too. ones during this like period, even like between like 97 to like 2001, and it's still somehow always the main event and involves some combination of Triple H, Taker, Rock, or Austin. <laughs> Tag team matches. They do nothing for 10 minutes. <laughs> then it ends in a no contest, and then Steve Austin hits a stunner, and the crowd goes, I win! <laughs> I feel like I feel like even if Austin's nowhere in sight at all, yeah. he'll still the show will still end with him giving a stunner in the crowd. He just comes baby. out and hits a stun dog, and it's over. My favorite favorite thing at the start of this one was everyone made their entrance, and then they gave it a brief pause so they could make that glass break and get that pop. I yeah. love that because they knew. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. they fucking knew. Um, so Triple H rushes Steve Austin at the ramp. It gets his ass whooped. <laughs> <laughs> Triple H oh, was man. good at being like a big piece of shit, but also like taking bumps for the top dudes. Oh, that's he's all taking I, bumps yeah, for Steve Austin. You yeah. damn right. Especially <laughs> at this point. Uh, sure. Steve Austin, when he rushed Steve on the ramp, Steve literally just threw the smoking skull belt against the fucking floor. He said, get this piece of shit out of <laughs> my face. Don't need that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and I love how the second they get in the ring, Steve Austin's immediate like psychology is like, I would like to hit the Stone Cold Stunner. <laughs> A lot With of guys don't route. do that anymore. Yeah. Uh, but he immediately goes for the gut kick into the Stunner every yeah. time. He's like, I could finish this match right now. I think Rock did that early on too. He like goes for the rock bottom on Yeah, Taker he goes for the Triple rock H bottom too. Yeah. yeah, that psychology is like completely gone nowadays. People yeah. don't do that anymore. Yeah. It's weird. Dude, this match was every single <laughs> tag main event with these guys I've ever seen yeah, ever. It's, it's, it's the Maz. same. It's, it's like a copy paste formula. That's all you yeah. have to do. It works Just though. Do the same yeah. Thing. Oh, yeah. I loved it. <laughs> um, but the match breaks down as the corporate ministry comes to the ring and they start beating people up. But then of course we have to have people come make safe. And Fake those union. people are, yeah, <laughs> test the big show. <laughs> yeah. Test Shamrock and big show coming to make the save. Uh, I, I guess I, I wasn't sure if the match was over at one point because Taker and Austin are fighting in the ring, Rock and Triple H brawl into the crowd, and I'm like, oh, is this... Like, Earl's in the ring, Taker and Austin are just wrestling. <laughs> it's like, what, what's yeah, going Steve's on still here? going for the stunner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the match had been thrown out, the commentary let me know. Uh, Taker goes to Tombstone Austin, Austin slips out, goes for the stunner, uh, Taker blocks it, choke slams Austin, which I thought was a cool yeah. little sequence. Um, yeah, absolutely. He got, he got high on, too. Yeah, he did. Which, I was like, whoa, shit, alright, it looked good. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Steve, Steve later on doesn't take those. He doesn't like taking those big bumps like that. But he definitely, took them I don't. Out. Yeah, I don't think. I mean, I feel like when he comes back, he you don't see him take like a back body drop. You don't see him take much. Of yeah, that. no, no, no. Yeah, no, his, yeah, his work changed immensely. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, Shane ha and Paul Bearer had come out with Taker during his entrance. So Shane is out here. Shane has a chair and he's gonna give it to Vince. Or sorry, give it to uh, Taker to deck Austin with. But Vince comes out and he takes the chair from Shane. And Shane goes to hit Vince, and Vince blocks it and fucking hits Shane in the Just head. Punches like, oh, him shit. right in the head. He's like, "Fuck you." <laughs> and then, oh boy. <laughs> so this rule. Taker has the chair. He goes to hit Austin with the chair. Vince slides in and snatches it from him. Or he tries to, at least. He tries to stop Taker from bashing Austin in the head with the chair, which is like, oh, okay, cool. He saved him. Taker says, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Gut kicks Vince and brains him with this oh, chair. So oh. hard. He oh, my God. It. Vince, no hands up or anything. This chair makes the grossest sound, and Vince dies. <laughs> Just Fuck. tough. I love Vince. how he tells awesome. him. He's backstage like, don't you be a pussy. You hit me. Yeah, <laughs> guaranteed. You're going to give it to me, pal. <laughs> huh? You can do it? Undertaker. Huh? Uh, he absolutely, he never like holds back on a chair shot. Ever. No, dude. He, he ruined careers delivers. with that fucking chair. Yeah, yeah he went to town. Um, uh, yeah. Dude, but the, the crowd is so red hot for Steve Austin to yes. do this fucking stunner. Yes, They're so dude. ready for him to hit the Give stunner. Give me the stunner. Uh, so then he hits the stunner. And the guy yeah. goes, ah, Woo! That's awesome, hell yeah. Um, then Shane comes into the ring and punches Vince in the face. Done. <laughs> Austin's music is playing. Austin is celebrating and Shane is in the ring 
beating Vince up. <laughs> punch him in the head. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> after he just got headshot with the chair, yeah. just punch him in the face. Yeah. And then Steve Austin walked over to him and gives him the double burden of stunner for his trouble. The crowd <laughs> is literally jumping over each other with how hype they were. It was like the pit and TNA whenever something yes. cool would happen. They, they were I, really love, yeah. I love Shane's sell of the stunner. He's just kind of <laughs> like j- jumping as high, but as far as he can. It was good. Yeah. Then Steve Austin grabs some beers, <laughs> dumps the beer on Vince to wake him up after he got beat up. That's and leaves a, be- leaves a yeah. beer for him. Yeah, that's nice. Dude, wow, man. That's, that's just, that's that's wrestling to me. We talked about it before, though, but that was every main event in WWE. It was like, you booked yeah. this ridiculous, we're like, The Rock and The Undertaker are having a match right here, and now it ends with Stone Cold doing his stunner, and everybody like goes home happy. We've walked. We've watched like three Rock Taker main events in three different years. <laughs> and yeah. they all end with Austin drinking beer. And they all end with bullshit. And they all ma- the matches always suck. Too. <laughs> I feel like yeah. every main event during that year ended in a no contest. Besides yeah. the one that Foley won the title. Yeah, honestly, you're probably that. right. Yeah, you're probably right. But this was it a fun matter. show. SmackDown Pilot, uh, Corporate Ministry. Good shit. Yeah, I enjoyed the show a lot. I thought it was fun. Yeah. They, they really, I mean, I could see why UPN would want to pick them up. Let's take, you know, push <laughs> yeah, the rest little... of the 9.0 ratings to the side, bam, non-factor. <laughs> I can see why they would want to pick them up. Yeah. yeah. Give these kids a chance. <laughs>